We live in a world carved by adventure, crafted by whose great deeds and runs like butter. You come now to the front because you too share the spark of butter. The belief that this world runs like butter, that butter must not remain. Butter. This is the beginning of your chatter, the ever growing legend of butter. That was a uh, little speech by our. If I could get a little. Uh, right. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Well, welcome to me. That's just a small preview of what we got in store for you here. For a small donation of a. Uh, you too can pretend to be an. Editor. Go on epic adventures here in our. Editor. One of the men in the crowd raises his hand. Uh, sir, um, is. I, it, butter, it, it all, but, uh, is it, is it, butter, butter, is not a part of the life of a butter, constantly at risk butter, around every corner. The man behind the beheaded man, runs like butter, but, uh, of course, everything is, uh, <coughs> butter, so it's, runs like butter. another man in the audience raises his, butter, so what about the massive loss of, butter, oh, yeah, no, we, we're taking care of that, see? We hired an actual pro- butter. He motions to the man behind him. Get him in here. <laughs> Through the door, steps a horned- butter. This is Marcus Velothi. Marcus Velothi, I know that you've heard of me, but please, I'll butter. wait. Yeah, so he's gonna solve our little, uh, butter. dealing with whatever butter. going on on the island, so feel free to start writing your chat now. Hey Marcus, wanna, wanna show him a little- butter. Oh! I suppose that it couldn't hurt. I step up to the front of the class, uh, raise my hand, and a violet and maroon butter. knights at the tip of my feet, whizzing briefly around my head for popping into a uh, puff of smoke. Ooh! Ah! Yeah, okay! Yeah, okay, actual butter. It could be like that. Yeah, of course, just little bit of a all your butter. Mind, uh, you can easily pretend to be someone like butter. Me. Of course you can. Just believe hard enough, and anybody can do matter. Uh, the black-haired man motions to you. If you'll uh, come with me, I think we should get to uh, the problem. Butter. Of course. You travel through the rickety. Butter. So, did we buy all that? This is your story shtick from the. Butter. Do they actually believe that? Ah. Uh, you'd be surprised. People are hungry for it. Butter. They want to feel like they're better, even if they are only fighting manufactured money. So, level with me here. How many people still die to the chatter? <laughs> oh, you're gonna see for yourself. Oh. The man leads oh. you out of the tower onto a rickety battle. Butter. You stand above the tower, butter. held aloft by butter. There is no way this butter can be safe. Absolutely not. So uh, let's let's move quickly, please. My name's Thog, by the way. Thog, a lyrical, a lyrical man. If there ever was one, Marcus. A pleasure. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let's uh, let's walk and talk. Butter. I'm the regional director butter. of this facility. Meet Shire Number Seven. So if we'll move quickly around this water, butter. as you can see back there, that's me butter. down below. Mm. They don't see this part, so uh, we make it as crappy as we can. You can really see all of the- butter. You're gonna want to step yes. away from that. Yes, I think, I think so. He leads you down the spiraling back. It sets down at the foot of the tower. Butter. Uh, you travel through- a Down a lonely- butter. Before you stands a great dead butter. Thog motions you along the lonely path. We try to keep the, uh, away from here because the tree makes them sad, is what the guildmaster says. It is a tragic piece of it. Okay. Speaking of tree, let's, uh, let's, let's talk about this. Butter. Let's. 
Okay, so in addition to the normal amount of disappearances that just sort of happen when we give the adventurers real-life weapons, um, adventurers have been turning up torn to pieces. Now, the monsters on our island are mostly incapable of literally tearing a person in half. I, I noticed a little of that from up on the tower. So, what you're going to be doing is you need to hunt this thing down. Kill it. Oh, very good. I've certainly done my fair share of murder playing in my days. Uh, now, what exactly has been killing the uh, We were hoping you could tell us. Oh, so you have literally no idea. You're sending me, you're sending me out blind. Understand that people uh, go missing on this island all the time, Mr. Malafi. <laughs> uh, of course they do. Of course they do. <laughs> Now, to help you out, we arrange two additional commands that should prove helpful in the monster slaying. Well, I don't generally require as I suppose that it couldn't hurt. As long as I don't have to pay them. Yeah. We'll in fact pay you extra for taking these two off our hands. It would be my pleasure, then. You travel into the town of Meadshire through a gaudy-looking You enter the town of Meadshire. The grass is bright green, and the paint on the houses is horrific to the eyes. I shield my eyes. Oh my god, it is offensive to every side I have. It's also incredibly frightening. Uh, now, the first of your stalwart is, uh, he's the only that's shown up on the island that's shown any sort of promise. You didn't have much money, but we let him in anyway in exchange for some stuff. Yeah, you uh, however many thousands of paid to try their hand at the adventuring life here? When you're at this job long enough, you realize that most of humanity's like butter. It's true. It's true, yes. So this fellow, wandering through town just like us, he gets caught in a classic butter. we set up as sort of entertainment, you know? Mm -hmm. Uh, the idea behind it is... Uh, you're framed for a murder, you get sent to jail. You know, you have to break yourself out, the guard falls asleep. Oh. Jeez, it's really classic stuff, the adventurers love it. It is very classic. Horribly cliche, really, and I'm surprised that... Yeah, no matter. So, you're saying that he He's... has completely, what, ignored the possibility to steal the key uh. from the guard? He's been caught in there for three days, yeah. Huh. We've had to begin construction on a second uh, house, specifically because of this asshole. Well, couldn't you just put another adventure uh, in with him, who would then perhaps show him how to escape? We tried it for a while, but, uh, oh, that's a different story. You finally reach a low building, uh, the, on the side of which is printed in big block letters. Uh, so, here we are. So, uh, before, before we enter Thog, you said, uh... That for this particular book, if you will, uh, the frame for murder? Indeed. Would you be so kind to go and find the gentleman that this uh, person was accused of murdering and bring him into the for me? Yeah, okay, sure. He's a paid actor. It'll take me a minute. Great. Go in and uh, see if you can get him out. Mm. I'll do my best. You enter the jail house and notice... An armed and armored guard, pressed against the bars. About a dozen key jingle on his waist. He's turned away and yelling something quite loudly. Oh dear, certainly getting tired over here. It'd be a real shame if someone uh, reached onto my bed and uh, uh, took the key to the jail cell. <clears throat> oh, he's getting real tired. He slides down the bars. His butt sticking through the bars. Oh, oh man, I can't believe I'm falling asleep on the floor with Sir, the key. That key you dropped earlier? I've, I've got it. You can. I, I reach over and attach the dropped earlier to his belt. There, there you go. Hmm. Be a little more careful with those. Such an innocent man. Guard! Okay, the hell you do you want? What is the meaning of this? I... I don't follow. I'm sorry, I forgot to introduce myself. My name is Marcus Velafi. Traveler of the world. Guardian of that. I am here to offer- So you're a judge? No, sir. I am, in fact... 
Are you a good kind of lawyer? Say I'm here to help you pro bono. Good kind of lawyer? Think. Ah, oh, this is just fucking great. Anyway, what's your name, mysterious jailed man? My name is Gregor Hartway. Gregor. My name is Marcus Velafi. I've been sent here to assist you uh, with your current uh, arrangement. I gesture around. I, I stick my hand out to take your hands, but knock a bar loose by accident. I grab the bar as it begins to fall and gingerly reinsert it into the hole from which it came out. It appears to be Milan's line butter. Uh, I stick my hand through the bars and shake Gregor's hand. Butter. Now, what exactly have you been jailed for, Gregor? Butter. Most foul. And did you- But it wasn't me. I figured as much. You are clearly not the murdering sort. Not even a little. Don't have the honor for it, and you're not hardly the right shape. Now then, I have, uh, talked to my assistant, and I believe that my assistant, Thog, has just brought the man who you supposedly killed. Is this him, Gregor? That's him. But... I... I didn't kill him, so I guess it makes sense that he's here. It does. Did you did you, ass did you assume he was dead for some reason? Well, everybody else did, so I was just kind of... Of course. I mean, I started to doubt myself. Oh, uh, yeah, um, I fell you can, you can leave. You can leave. Uh, you can leave. Rare uh, plague. Presence is no longer uh, required. Thank you. Now! As you can see, my client, Gregor Hartway, is perhaps the farthest from guilty that he could be. Is all of this, uh, is all of this necessary, Marcus? Not right now, Thog. Now, guard, I do believe that is your name. <sighs> if you, if you would kindly release my client from his cell. With pleasure. He opens the gate. <laughs> And motions you out of the cell. I give him a salute and make my way out. And if you would kindly take his place. What? What? Justice Why? must be served. Oh yeah. False imprisonment. Imprisonment. Yes. Hey. Okay. Thog motions him into the cell. The guard slumps over and takes Gregor's place in the cell. <sighs> Shouldn't have done the crime. You can't do the time Butter. in jail. That is what they say, Gregor. Now, I have a proposition for you. How would you like to help me kill a monster? Butter. Uh, I would love to. Very good. Is that, is that what we're going to do? Perhaps. I joke, of course that's what we're going to do. Thank goodness, I was getting so bored in there. I imagine. How long were you in jail for, Gregor? A few days. I mean, I, it's kind of confusing. There's no windows in there. Did you I'm never really think sure. to perhaps steal the gun from the guard and let yourself out? That, what's the point of justice if I just break the law? You're a very special sort of man, aren't you, Gregor? Not everyone can have my sense of justice. Be a good person. Be kill good at killing monsters. Uh, certainly a- I'm glad we're friends. I'm glad we're friend. We're friend. I'm glad we're friends too, Gregor. Now then. Thog leads you back to the town of Mill. Uh, it's garish color assaulting you once more. So, uh, Marcus, I've taken the, uh, the liberty of converting all of your personal possessions to, uh, uh condo bucks, which is coincidentally what you're going to be paid in. He hands you a sheaf of bills. You really, you really shouldn't have, Thog. Uh, so, by the way, what's the uh, what's the inf what's the inflation rate on these? Oh yeah, the conversion it's uh it's a lot to a little. <laughs> Here you go. So the government is paying you to be my lawyer. Uh, not quite. Although that does fall under my duties. Sure. Works for me. Got me out of jail. Butter. Now we're gonna kill stuff. I'm sure, I'm sure I'll do it again, Gregor. I'm sure I'll do it again. Now, uh, where's the last member of the DK crew? Oh, she's right over here drinking her ass off. Right over... He motions further down the road, past the 
gigantic skeleton uh, at you. Eh, just ignore that. Hmm. Is it paper mache? Uh, could be. It's the corpse of the over. Uh, we say. Overlord. Overlord of? Yep. Oh, you know. No, I don't. He motions into the bar. Uh, You'll find her in here. I'm gonna wait outside. I can't, uh, stand. Ah, uh, you must be the final member of I'm the DK crew. Welcome. My name is Marcus. This is my associate, Gregor. He has recently been freed from jail. We are told uh, that you are here to meet us before we set off on our journey to rid Meatshire of some uh, unsavory monster. I was framed, by the way, so don't let the whole he was, thing... He was, but my superb deter. lawyering managed to get him off the hook. Mm -hmm. Oh, finally, finally a group? Somebody's helping me out here? I've been waiting in this bar for, for so long for somebody to come by and pick me up! How, this is great, guys! How long have you been waiting in this bar for? Three weeks! I paid them three weeks ago! I'm too afraid to go outside of town and kill monsters, but it'll be great if I have a group! I, I lean forward and kind of tap on the table and wave at everybody. My head whips around and I sweat ever so slightly. So what are we gonna get going? Uh, within the hour. Within the hour, if you would if you would go and wait outside. We have to Neith, prepare first? Uh, y yes, Gregor, we'll have to gather supplies. But uh, if our new companion here could uh, go outside and wait underneath the statue of the old... Uh, with, okay, I'll wait outside. With, I've already got supplies. See, I got this bow. Twang, 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 twang. Very good. I would like for you to practice your meditation while we gather our own supplies. Okay, I'll just, I'll be waiting outside. Please, please come back. Please come back. Oh, we will. Okay. This is so exciting. He's smiling ear to ear. Uh, and excited. you must be the actual person we came here to see. Wait. You would be right. I made a bit of a mistake, Gregor. Uh, don't... Don't let on to anyone. Oh. Now! Oh, this is setting an, up an awkward situation. It's... It's fine, Gregor. I got her to practice her meditation, so her eyes will be closed. We can just walk right by her. You know, these adventure uh, types are pretty persistent. Tell her to wait, and she'll probably wait until she starves. That is... Dark. It is the truth. What's your name? How about you give me yours first? Well, I was the first one to ask. Yes, but it's My common. My name is Gregor Hartis. Nice to meet you, Gregor. Killer. <laughs> and helper. I uh, yes, helper. I re I re I remember you actually. You're the one that was in the <laughs> jail. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I killed the guy. No, you didn't. Allegedly. Yeah. He did not actually. He no. Did not actually. No, I, know, I, I did know. not. I know. I know. So, so everybody's been saying that over and over. It just kind of gets in your brain, you know. I'm sure it does. This place has a has a knack for getting under your skin and into your eyeballs. What is with all of the garish color? I'm not sure. I think it's so that they can just. It's a constant battery against everybody's common sense. I'm not sure. My name is Marcus Velafi. Excellent. I extend my hand. I kind of eye your hand for a moment, stare at your hand, and just nod my head and say, the name's Ashling. A pleasure. May I call you Ash? Do so. Very well, Ash. Well, you are the last member of I'm the DK crew. I do believe that's our official title, yes. Sweet. Uh, he gave it a title. I, uh, something of a title, yeah. That's great. Now, I've I've been led to believe that you uh, know the lay of the land around here. I do, actually. Have you seen any of the the adventurers tout around? Not even one. Well, I drew the maps. I am a cartographer for um, hmm. Meadshire number seven. How many Meadshires are there? You know, I'm not really sure. I hear they've got installments all over this damn diamond. Can we go to another hmm. one? It's exactly the same as here. I know, that's why I want to go. We can meet ourselves. But... Yeah, it would be really cool if we met ourselves. Most assuredly, I, yes. We'll have to 
definitely follow up on that at some point in the near future, Gregor. Yes. Uh, mm-hmm. First comes Mother <laughs> Killing, though. Right. Of course. And you hear a you hear a thump 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 on the door. Thaw gills through. I'm not paying you by the hour, but uh. How about you stop taking up space in the bar? We got a group of adventurers coming through. They want to drink some of that pain. I glance idly at Ash's cup. I shake my head and toss back the rest of my drink. Hmm. Well, Thog does make a point. Yeah. Let's go. Which way? I don't know, Gregor. Which way do you think looks best? I don't have a map. They Matt did not Baker. give me one. So, um, you know, Baker here, maybe consult me for... Kind of quietly. Right okay, now. listen. So, how much, how much did Thog tell you about, about the mother Baker. we're gonna be killing? Uh, little to nothing. Next to nothing. Little, little to okay. nothing. Okay, well, all right, then, as soon as we get out of reach of this little, this little bitty over there, I'll give you the skinny. Okay, I think we're fine here. All right. <clears throat> well, apparently there's some sort of strange crud up in the mines up north. Usually, How strange. I can't say for certain. Strange enough that it's been killing people by the hand. That's strange enough for me. I, I don't doubt that it will be easy. It's very likely just some sort of stray cat. Uh... I'm... I was going to say that I uh, would think it would be a bit more lethal than that, but having met a few of the adventurers here... Claws. Who have claws, they also have teeth. This is true. The sheep around here are actually, believe it or not, the sheep around here all get their teeth rubber capped. They all get their hooves softened. I'm pretty sure it was a sheep that locked me in jail in the first place. I, I kind of narrow my eyes and look at Gregor. Huh. Like... 75% sure. Nice. I just went with it. It's up in the caves north. Not that far from here. Okay. Will you be able to lead us there? Easy. Effectively, yeah? Easily. Look. Very good. Uh, before we set out, just don't don't make eye contact with anybody. Magic jet! Magic jet! Uh, want some magic jet? Great. Yes, I, I do. Some magic I, had, I had whips around. Magic jet! Yeah, completely magical. This one summons the rain, this one summons mud. No idea what this one does. I, that's why I call it the what mystery. Is, what does that one summon? Oh, you know. You know. It summons, uh, uh, um, oh, uh, uh, good fortune? Virility. Let's say virility. Ah, virility. Good old-fashioned virility, John. Do you have any gen to enhance physical capabilities? No magic. No magic? Um, are you- can- I mean, these gen- uh, Magic in nature! How can you want a magic gen- uh, Isn't magic, that's just insane! He's entirely correct, Gregor. I sift through this pile of gen- uh, Which is very clearly just a bunch of cut and colored glass. However, my eyes settle on a... Tiny sliver of blue sapphire. My eyes widen. Oh, you got a good eye for, uh, for- uh, Mr. This. I think it would be here. I of all places. So uh you gonna you gonna buy it? You seem really I thought I never thought I would see it again after all of these years. Is it a gen uh, idea? Cause that's the kind of thing I want. It's something far more powerful. Tumbling. Far far more powerful Tumbling. than that. Gotta... You have no idea uh, of its power, do you? A single Drop of sweat pulls its way down the man's face. You have no idea the sheer potential that is held within this shadow. I... Oh... Okay? I, um... Oh, you poor naive man. I hold out the gentleman and put into his palm. I... I close his fingers around is, it. Is it... Take, take good I care of this. Safe? I bet it's... I, you're safer than you... You're safer than you can know, sir. Okay. You hold on to this, and do use it wisely. You'll only have one chance. I sweep around and make my way down the road. <laughs> As Marcus approaches, I, I burst out laughing and... Oh, I think I'm going to enjoy traveling with you. 
I think I'm going to enjoy being in Meadshire. I want to kill him all. <laughs> here, here. <laughs> you leave town through the carefully marked. <laughs>